Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We continue our journey of looking at the basics of malware. In this video, we will discuss how malwares are able to identify the processes running on a system. Using this technique, they are able to identify any analysis processes running on the system like IDA Pro, x64 dbg, etc. We will also look at how the malware is able to identify whether they are being debugged. We are going to take a hands-on approach here. We are going to discuss the code and we are going to debug it as well. With that, let's get started. So here I am in my virtual machine. I have this code open in front of me, evasion wire debugger detection. Now there are many ways a malware can identify whether an analysis process or a debugger is running on the system. In this video, we are discussing only a few of them. So here we have the main functionality, which is the function supposedly executing the malware's main functionality so if i play this we will see that it is going to print this log line every three seconds in an infinite loop let me close this let me now enable our checks for debugger present or analysis software present let us go to this function and in this function we see that it is uh, identifying some analysis processes like IDA64, x64 dbg and you can add a lot of other processes like Ghidra, API monitor, WinDBG, etc, etc. Now after it has identified these processes, it is going to use this function check analysis processes running on the system and this is going to identify whether any of these processes are running on the system and depending upon whether these processes are running on the system it is going to return is analysis process running now let's go to this function this is the function check analysis process is running and for each of the process name that has been passed here it is going to pass it to this function is process running now in this function we are using the create tool help 32 snapshot to enumerate through the processes we are passing the uh, argument of th32 ces snap process to create tool help 32 snapshot which is going to give us the snapshot of all the processes executing on the system this is then going to give us this pe32 uh, structure from the process 32 first function call from there we are going to identify the executable name via this uh, parameter or this uh, uh, this variable inside pe32 we are then going to compare it to the process names that we have provided earlier which are ida 64 and x64 dbg okay so let me execute ida64 here just to have it running that's okay all right now it is running on the system now let's go and debug this so i'm going to put a debug on the enumerate processes function which is this is process running and let's play this here all right so on the keyboard, I have to press F10 to step over and I'm going to do that. So F10, we have gotten the snapshot here. We can see that this is coming in the locals uh, window here. Now we are checking whether we got something in the PE32 structure. We did. And if we check in our watch, I have put a watch on the uh, executable file name the first executable file name is coming to system process it is going to check the process name here whether this is matching with the executable file name if it does it is going to return true here okay now i am going to put a debug here and i will keep on playing so pressing f5 here so we are going to iterate through the process names and we can see what is happening here every time it goes through this while loop process 32 next it is going to identify the next file name that is running on the system and it is going to compare this with the process name that we are looking for okay so this is going to take some time so i will put a breakpoint here and let it continue 
now it has identified that ida64 is running on the system if ida64 is running on the system it is going to close the handle to the snapshot it is going to return true and is process running on the system analysis process is running on the system so we have returned true here okay and now we are going to check whether x64 dbg is present on the system or not now i could have easily uh, changed this to not go through this loop but i've done this just for completeness purposes once we have done that we can see that process ida64 is running on the system process x64 dbg is not running on the system debugger is present and remote debugger is also present now debugger is present and remote debugger is also present we can go through these checks as well so these are the two functions is debugger present check via api and is remote debugger present now is debugger present is going to check the peb whether a flag is turned on to indicate a debugger is present on the system and is remote debugger present is going to call this uh, command or api check remote debugger present in which we are going to pass it the handle to the current process and we are going to pass it a reference to a boolean variable as well if the remote debugger is present then this windows api is going to return uh, the, this uh, value as true and we are going to return this here as well okay so eventually there are three checks the first check is whether the processes uh, analysis processes or debugger processes are running on the system we do this through this ida64 and x64 dpg uh, process names and we can add for the process names here we are also then going to check whether the debugger is present via the api is debugger present and is remote debugger present as well via the is remote debugger present api okay so after all this is done we are finally going to check whether the analysis process is running or is debugger present if any of these is true we are going to say that is debugger or analysis software is present and we are going to return this as true if this is true then we will see that the main functionality of the malware cannot execute now in order to evade further detection what the malware can also do is that it can add an alternate main functionality and this alternate main functionality will be something that is not going to be the main functionality of the malware but it is going to be something that is going to be uh, dubious and is going to mislead the uh, mislead the um, the analysis software or the malware analyst to, uh, to think that the main functionality is something different so here let me add a check alternate uh, main functionality okay and let me fix this here as well okay and we are going to add something here which says that else alternate main functionality this is basically tricking the analyst or the analysis software to think that there is some other functionality of the malware and but it has actually evaded the detection and it is not going to go through the main functionality so if you play this we'll see that um, ida software is running and it is now going to the alternative alternate main functionality let me close this and let me close ida pro as well i will not start the debugger here i am going to start the release version without the debugging and it says that logging from main functionality okay now let us also see whether uh, what happens if i start the debugger let me remove the breakpoint from here continue 
and we will see that ida software is not running x64 dbg is not running debugger is present and remote debugger is also present so this is logging from the alternate main functionality all right so i will upload this code to the git repo for you to study how how malwares are able to do this uh, that brings us to the end of this video thank you very much for your time